What's up guys, this is GTFan712 here again with this week in Roshi News for the week of November 11th all the way to the 20th. I was on vacation over the weekend and was not able to produce the show, so this week we'll be recapping the news all the way from Sunday, November 11th to this Tuesday, November 20th. Now this was a big extended week in Roshi News, so let's go ahead and get into our first story. Now, our first story is actually a story I forgot to recap in last week's episode, which is the large size release over on eBay of a few pairs of the Liquid Limes. Now, the Liquid Limes were previously thought to be an Asia-exclusive women's colorway, which were only produced up into a woman's size 9, but a few pairs of 12s and one pair of 11s showed up on eBay, and a few Team Roshi members were able to grab a pair. One of those members even posted up a review video of the Liquid Lime, so I'll go ahead and post a link to that video down in the description if you would like to check that out. Now our next story was completely unexpected for this week and was posted up by Al Cardi over on the Team Roshi Nike Talk page. These are the Premium NRG, or what I'll call the Twill Roshis, that were posted up in two colorways, an Anthracite colorway and a Khaki colorway. Now the shoe starting at the toe box has an all leather toe cap, which is made of premium leather. The upper is composed of what is described to be a denim or cloth material that is somewhat water resistant, and your mid panel is made of that twill material. Now according to Team Roshi member Kevin, who is currently in Hong Kong and has these shoes in person, he says the inner lining is composed of a thicker material that is more comfortable and more appropriate for the winter months. Last year, swoosh on both pairs is a premium suede. The official colors for the khaki pair are khaki, khaki, sail, and black tea, and the official colors for the anthracite pair are anthracite, anthracite, and metallic platinum. Currently, these shoes are only available over from Asia retailers and in stores in certain Asian countries, but you can pick up a pair right now from Kix Files, and I'll include a link in the description to go pick up your pair from them for what I believe is around $140 shipped to the U.S. Next up, we have another big story, this time posted by Yuna over on the Nike Talk Team Roshi page. This is a preview of the Women's Summer 2013 colorways of both the original Roshi Run and the Roshi Run Woven. From this catalog shot, we can expect four colorways of the Women's Roshi Run Woven at a retail price of $100 and three colorways of the Women's Regular Roshi Runs at a retail price of $70. So let me know down in the comments below which one of these colorways are you looking forward to the most. Now our final story for this week came from Drosy B over on the Team Roshi Nike Talk page. And this is a confirmation that Zappos will most likely be getting a restock of Roshis in January 2013. The email he received reads, We're a really big fan of the Nike Roshi run as well and we will, in fact, be restocking these early January 2013. So it looks like we can expect Zappos to have another run of the Roshi run come January. If you are not already a VIP member over on Zappos, I suggest you do so now, as VIP members will get first dibs at new releases as well as free next day shipping on all purchases from Zappos.com. So you can do so by applying on Zappos' website or just giving them a call and suggesting that they push you through the VIP system. And that will do it for this week in Roshi News for the week of November 11th through November 20th. So a big week this week in Roshi News, but make sure you stay tuned next weekend for next week in Roshi News, where I'll be recapping all of these stories in the Roshi world from this upcoming week. As always, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.